How's it going, everyone? Thursday, January 25th, Tesla trade to the downside. And I want to go over all the technicals, why I took it very briefly, and then we'll go into the live trading because that's going to be the entertainment and the best part of all of it. So why was I watching Tesla? It should be pretty straightforward. Tesla reported earnings had a massive gap lower, and it was trading very weak in the pre-market, just kind of consistently trending to the downside. So as far as levels to really focus on, I was looking at this prior daily low, 194.07. To me, that was gonna be a major level because if it's not able to hold that, which it was trading below it, then there's possible more downside. If it pushes up into it and rejects it, that could be a potential break and retest kind of setup for maybe more downside. Also, you're gonna hear me talk about a gray zone in the video. This was the gray zone that I was talking about. So I really just kept it pretty simple. What is the consolidation that it's been in in the pre-market? Right around 190 to 193. So it was trading kind of right at the lows of it. And my thought process was thinking that if there's any sort of push from 190 up to 193, and even knowing that 194.07 was gonna be resistance because at one point it was support, it's now trading below that, if Tesla has a push up into this zone and it rejects it and it starts to roll over, there could be a possible setup to the downside. And being that Tesla is now under $200, I didn't think there was gonna be some sort of massive move. So I ended up taking the reversal on this and then we got a very quick breakdown. We got below pre-market low. We made a new low of day. And then I just took my profits into that aggressive move and that new low a day washout. So that's the technicals as far as Tesla. Now let's get into the live trading. You're going to see me talking in the mic because I'm communicating with the individuals in my Discord community, the Alpha Academy, which I'm having a really good time building. It's great to trade with others. So everything that's going on in my mind, I can kind of be vocal about it. So I'm enjoying building this community. If you're at all interested in joining, there's going to be a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the live trading. 30 seconds, 30 seconds until the bell. Let's rock. Yep, then you got Microsoft took a little dump. So I think things need to develop. You know, let the market do what it's got to do and then have a little bit of a trend and use these levels as a guide. Let's see what this Tesla does. I'm looking to have the 190 puts loaded just in case if there's a quick little setup. And if it's, if I got to flip the other way, I can just click on the calls I'm interested in. Yeah, Tesla just tank. Meta's right at that prior day low now. Tesla failed little pre-market low. Even like if this Tesla were to flip over 190 and do a little fail pre-market low, like this thing could pop. Tesla holding that pre-market low so far. If this Tesla flips over 190, this could push to the upside a little bit. Failed little breakdown. But we do know there's a lot of resistance above. Look at that, the Tesla pop, little 190. Could have been a good long there. I just didn't feel like taking it so quick off the open. Man, that 190 long, that would have been a nice little push there, huh? That first two-minute candle wick was a tell. Failed pre-market low break. Big wick off the lows. Flipped over that whole number. Nice push up into resistance. Yep, you got Boeing coming down. Boeing just straight down. See if this thing can consolidate a little bit. What a move on Tesla, huh? Should have taken that 190 long. Just dangerous. Taking trades that quick off the open can be a little dangerous. Look at this Ted. Look at that Tesla rejection. I'm going to try Tesla, 190, back below 190. I want to see if this maybe could get back to like the low a day. That was a pretty nasty rejection, 193, 192 rejection. If 
pretty aggressive rejection. Got to get below that pre-market. 188.70 is that pre-market low. Could be a little choppy, though. I mean, these two-minute candles are a little wild. One eighty-eight seventy is that pre-market low. Low a day is one eighty-seven seventy-seven. See if Tesla can get a drop. Nasty reversal. Come on, Tesla. Nice drop. Nice drop on Tesla. That was a nasty reversal off 193. All right, I'll sell it into that move lower. That was a nice move. I got a solid trade on that. 190 down to the break of 187. Tesla could probably keep going, but look at those two huge red candles in a row. Anytime we get an aggressive drop like that, and I know I've been talking about it, that's a nice move lower. I'm going to take that opening drive lower, but Tesla's now below pre-market low. It's also below that 188. If this thing has a pullback, kind of rejects that, that could be a nice move lower. But the setup was nice because it had the push up into 193, into the little gray zone that I talked about, that little gray box in the pre-market, 190 to 193 was the, uh, was the resistance. Look at that. Nice trade. I'll take it. I got a sick move on that. Sick move on that. My day's done. One and done on Tesla. One and done. That was it. And as much as I wanted to try to hold this, like when I was in this candle right here, this uh, 936 candle, when it got back below 190, so big push, knowing that flipped over 190, it got back below 190 after a rejection of 193, 192, 191, push up in the resistance, rejected resistance, Got back below the VWAP and the 9 EMA. I ended up taking the short there. Got the drop, the new low. And when we wash out new lows that fast, I'm just going to take those profits. A lot of my trades in the last week or so, I've been kind of trying to hold for a little bit more. And then it leads to a bounce. And I end up not. I end up wishing I took those profits. So the moment I get that new low a day, I'm taking it. I'm taking the drop. That's a heck of a move. I'll take it all the time now. Was trying to hold my Netflix the other day. Kept getting about a dollar move on the contracts. They came back on me. So lesson learned. Today I get the quick move. Day's done. One and done day. Thanks, Tesla.